Welcome back. Joining me now is Sports Director Adam Kruger from inside Memorial Stadium. Scott Frost and company held their weekly press conference ahead of the Colorado game today. What were the key message points from Frost and company? That the offense has got to do a lot better. That performance on Saturday, not up to their standard. Adrian Martinez really set the tone on Monday, coming up first to the press conference and saying, I need to do a better job as a leader of this team. I got to execute better. Um, he really didn't get too specific as far as what went wrong on Saturday, but just says got to be better. Matt Farniok saying they got to have better technique and they got to block better. And Scott Frost basically saying it all starts with the quarterback. He said he loves Adrian Martinez, but he needs to do a better job out there. And when he gets into the game and he runs the ball, he's got to be like an eye back playing quarterback. Yeah, the sophomore signal caller had a good game on Saturday, not a bad game either, but it wasn't a great game. What was his message? to the media today and how's he feeling after a decent performance against South Alabama? Feels much like he did on Saturday where he took a lot of the blame and felt the offense wasn't moving a lot because of uh, what he was doing or what he wasn't doing on Saturday and just emphasize that they need to be much more crisp in practice. It all begins with practice and they said on Monday they had a pretty good practice offensively, brought some energy, played very, very fast and they need to carry that over into a game and Scott Frost emphasized it once again. You play how you practice and he was very pleased with Monday's practice, particularly from the offense and even the defensive players were noticing that the offense came out much more crisp this Monday as opposed to maybe the early stages of last week. And it sounds like a kicker Dylan Jorgensen, the true walk-on freshman from Lincoln, is going to be the kicker for the Huskers moving forward due to an injury to Barrett Pickering. Flipping ball to the defensive side, uh, players we talked to seem to say that the defense had a really good practice on Monday. How are the Blackshirts feeling heading into week two of the season? Feeling pretty good, pretty confident after that performance. Five takeaways, the most since the Illinois game last year. Also scored a pair of touchdowns. So they're feeling pretty good, but Mo Berry said there's a level they can still take it to. They weren't completely satisfied. Feel like they could have flown to the ball better. Uh, maybe made some more wrap-up tackles. They'll have to do that against uh, Colorado. They have some talented players. So basically just do a little things better, the little things better, the details, wrapping up when you tackle, because it's one thing to do that against South Alabama. If you don't do that against Colorado, they will make you pay. Technique, technique, and more technique. As Captain Darian Daniels told me that he thought the Huskers played their worst possible first game, and they still came out with a win. Week two is going to be out in Boulder against an old rival, the Colorado Buffaloes. Obviously, last year they lost here in Lincoln, a 33-28. to Colorado came away with that win. New head coach for Colorado. How's the team feeling this year heading into this game? They feel very excited to play Colorado. Going out to Boulder, they're expecting a lot of Nebraska fans, which NU fans, they're kind of known for doing that, taking over opposing stadiums. Uh, but they're really not focused on last year's game and what happened to Adrian Martinez getting injured late in that contest. They say it's a new coaching staff, new, a lot of new players for the Buffaloes. They're mostly focused on playing just better than they did in game one, not really focused on what happened last year and, and whatnot. But some of them admitting, yeah, it's a pretty cool rivalry. We, we've heard about the, the decades they played together. Nebraska and Colorado facing off every year from 1948 to 2010. So they got very familiar with each other back in the day. Uh, this current team maybe not doesn't know a whole lot about that rivalry, but admits they're very excited to go out to Boulder and see what Scott Frost called an awesome college football atmosphere. And yeah, I know while you grew up with this rivalry, I know a lot of fans in the Omaha viewing area uh, grew up with this rivalry, and that game will be at 2.30 p.m. this weekend on Fox. For now, this is Phil Bergman with sports director Adam Kruger. We'll be back with more news after this break.